Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gup. Today we're making popcorn shrimp, but we're making it in Korean style, so it's not the classical popcorn shrimp. But before we have a look at the ingredients here on the board, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please do me the favor, hit that subscribe button, and also check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is released. But now, let's have a look at the board. So we have some plain flour, we have some panko flour, we have a bit of toasted sesame seeds, that's just for decoration. Same goes with the chopped um, spring onions, also just for decorations. We have some gochugaru, Korean chili flakes, a bit of salt, a bit of milk, two eggs, our shrimp, and we have the amazing spicy Korean spicy mayonnaise. And I'll start with showing you how I did this. Now this is what we need for our kind of Korean style mayonnaise. We need mayonnaise, as always the best, QP. We need some uh, syrup, some rice vinegar, some sesame oil, a bit of soy sauce, a bit of gochujang, and some salt. But let's get a bowl so we can mix all of this together. Now we start with the mayo. We'll get everything out of this bottle. Or maybe not everything. Make as much mayo as you need. But you're going to need more than you think because it's so good. Put in this gochujang. I would say it's a tablespoon and a half. You can play with the quantities depending on how spicy you want it. Need about half a tablespoon of syrup. Tablespoon of vinegar. Tablespoon of soy. And we can already start mixing this together. Then we're just gonna add the salt and the sesame oil. And now for our sesame oil, we're going to need also about a tablespoon. And before we go in with the salt, we give it a quick taste. Very good. It's dangerous. Just need a good pinch of salt. And we'll mix that in as well. And there we have it. Last try. Perfect. Now I'm going to put this in one of those squeezy bottles because it's easier to serve it like that. But that's our Korean inspired spicy mayo. Very simple but incredibly effective. It's the best mayonnaise or the best spicy mayonnaise you'll ever taste. But now let's uh, move on to prepping the shrimp. Now, as you can see, I bought this de-veined and peeled already. And I think, you know, popcorn shrimp came from this famous kind of seafood chain in the States called uh, Red Lobster. Um, I never had the original, but sometimes they make it with whole shrimp. But I think when the shrimp is big like this, you want it kind of in popcorn sizes, right? So cut up your shrimp in, pop in popcorn sizes. And then we'll continue from there. Put the flour in the back. I'm going to need some more flour later on. And now we add our cut shrimp to the back. Just get it all in there. Close the back. Now we shake it. Just want to coat them with flour. Now we can put this to the side for now. And now we'll make the breading. So we need some more flour. We need some of our panko flour. And this is one of those recipes where you cannot just go with your gut feeling. There's no real measurement. Uh, a really good pinch of salt. 
And now we just mix this up and make sure that it mixes evenly. We might need two batches of this, depending on how much sticks to our shrimp. So we put this to the side. I know flour like this is not the nicest to try. But I just want to see for the salt content. I'm going to need a bit more. We get a second bowl out, put our eggs in there, and some milk. Don't need all of it. And we just whisk this up. Good. Now we're ready to, for our shrimps to take a bath. I put on a pot with some oil in it where we're going to deep fat fry. The oil should be 180 degrees. And now we just put them in here for a bath. Okay, maybe we need to make two batches. So we'll start with this. Just get your hand in there. Make sure to coat them. And then move them over to the breading. Try to let them drip off a bit. So we'll do this in two batches actually, but I'll just show you one. And now we bread them in here. Make sure that they're nicely coated. So I'll clean up my hands and we'll move over there and we'll fry the first batch. And this happened to me lately. I forgot to turn on the camera. But as you can see what we did, we, have, we had our shrimp, we put it in the oil that was 180 degrees and now we're frying it in it. So you didn't miss much. And we want it to be kind of a golden Golden brown, you always say, but I never think with panko that it really gets golden. So I'm happy where we are with these. So we'll just take them out, put them on a paper, kitchen paper, and then we'll move back and we'll plate this up and we'll give it a try. And I'll do the rest of the shrimp later. Let's get these on the plate. a bit. Now before we finish this off, if you stuck with it this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. Except that I forgot to turn on the camera before. But try to put that to the side. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there. It takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me when you do that because it helps me to get a larger reach in the YouTube kind of universe. But now let's finish this plating. We'll put some roasted sesame seeds on them. And for our amazing chili mayo, or gochujang mayo. You can always serve a little bit in a bowl next to it as well, because I promise you, once you try that um, Korean spicy mayo, you're not gonna want to have any other spicy mayo and some chopped spring onions on top. And that's it. That's our Korean style popcorn shrimp. Now let's dig in. Mm. Mm. Nice, crunchy. Just the right spice level. Now, alternatively, you can serve this up without putting the mayo and stuff on so that you can eat it like finger food. You can grab one, you can dop it, uh, dop it, dip it in a mayo. It goes perfect like that. I mean, I think that's the name, popcorn shrimp. Mm. It's just a new twist to it. Kind of the Korean twist that I really enjoy. But it's a simple dish. Doesn't take you too long to make, and it's perfect either when you're sharing stuff on a table or like with drinks as an aperitif, as a snack, like a bar snack. It's salty, spicy, but still has a bit of a um, acidity to it because of the mayo. 
obviously in there we had a rice vinegar. Mm. Well, at least I know that my family is going to be happy with the dinner tonight. But that's it for this time. As always, if you have any questions about the dish, leave them in the comments below. I'll always answer them. Um, and don't forget, if you're not subscribing, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.